here's a video a little bit different than I've done lately. We're gonna take a look at this lot of junk phones that I got from a garage sale. I only paid five dollars for all of these, so let's see what we got and what works. First off, we have a, well, it's not a phone, but it's a Blackberry pouch, so I'll grab the phone that goes with it. This is the pride of my country, a Blackberry. I think it's the only successful phone that came from Canada. Only successful company, I guess. There we go, it's got a Saskatel wallpaper. I'll have a quick look, see what's on it. Not much. These phones honestly suck. I don't, I've never liked Blackberries. I'll grab another one quick and show you how much worse it is. This is a Blackberry Storm. I guess you could say the iPhone competitor. And this was the curve. But this one, you can see the screen is actually a button. In order to click anything, you had to press down on the screen. It was the worst. But this isn't what we're talking about. This one didn't come from a garage sale. Everything on it seems to work fine. So you got some pictures on here. And some family pictures from 2012. This phone works. Anyway, moving on to the next phone. Reaching in this time, we got this weird looking Samsung phone that I also happen to have the box for. It's a Samsung Link, I guess. Is that what it is? Or is that just saying that it can link? Yeah, it's one of the ones with the full keyboard. Let's move on to the phone. We'll see. Yeah, remember when all phones had these protective covers on their chargers? Don't miss those days. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, that's definitely not Android. Camera, how's that look? Yeah, you can see it doesn't look the best. Not a very good looking picture. And not a very good phone either. There's like nothing on here. I guess it's a phone. Oh, it's got one of those mirrors. I forgot about those. So you could see yourself for taking selfies. I don't know, I think you could see me in there. Turn it off and move on to the next phone now. And it is a Samsung flip phone. It's got micro USB. So let's see, this one actually, if I remember, it had the swollen battery. Yeah, it does. I'll see if I can swap it out with a different phone. This is the battery from a pink Samsung phone. I got a different time from somewhere else, but I couldn't charge it because it had another weird proprietary connection. Battery charging. I think we saw something on here. Yeah, looking for service, so this phone does work. I'll take a picture. See how awful it looks. My, oh, I'm covering up the camera. I guess it's decent for an old flip phone. Another one with a nice startup and shutdown sound. Now we'll move on to the next phone. Here's a little LG phone that has a really weird connector that looks like a mix between those old Motorola chargers for their StarTac phones and those proprietary Sony ones. But none of those chargers fit that I had. This thing is really slow. I'll just wait. Oh. That's a nice song. You have any ringtone? Yeah, sounds. Listen to some old LG ringtones. I'm not going through all those. There's a lot of ringtones. I think there's one more phone after this. I also got a pretty nice shutdown song. Here's our last phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy J16 from 2017. It's got a bit of stuff in here. We got this incredibly dirty case, which is just disgusting. Probably check that out. And a quick start guide. Oh, the back does come off on this phone. Didn't think it did. It's turned on. 74%. There, let's get the back off. Micro SD card. One of these phones, it was the Blackberry. It had a micro SD card in it. It was a four gigabyte one. Probably take that out and use it with my 3D printer or something. But open this up. This is actually still a fairly usable phone. You could say, What's it running? Um, Android 
7. I don't I don't really know my Android versions. Software info. Android 6. I think they're still worth about 100 Canadian dollars on eBay when I looked. It only had 8 gigabytes of built-in storage. That's not very much at all. Oh, it's got the entire spec. So 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. It's got an AMOLED screen, 5 megapixel rear camera, and a 2 megapixel front camera. This is like the budget, budget phone Samsung made. Yeah. And I also didn't have to charge this one up. It was at like 94% when I got it. And the person also left all of their information on this phone. A bunch of contacts and stuff. Yeah, I think that's the video. Just kind of wanted to show these phones I got at a garage sale for $5. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this where I look at phones, tell me in the comments. Or if you want to see more videos where I make projects. I prefer doing those videos, but I also like looking at this old tech too. I guess it's not that old, but yeah, tell me what you like better. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.